As memorable holiday meals go, it's pretty hard to beat fresh seafood, especially if you've spent the day playing on the beach or out on the water. There's something really pure and soulful about a meal like that for me. And the great thing about fish is it's really quick and it's really easy to do, especially if you're barbecuing. Cornish pollock, if I was going to do that sort of as like little fillets and breadcrumbs for kids, is it quite strong tasting? No, it's one of the mould. Yep, that would be perfect actually. Fish is a bit of a tricky area really. We are an island nation, we love eating fish, but when it comes to buying it and preparing it ourselves, you'll get a little bit nervous. I personally think that's because we are brought up on a diet of cod and chips, haddock and chips or tin tuna. And now that we're all realising a little bit too late that we've completely overfished the stocks of those, we're really unsure what to go and choose as alternatives. I'd say go and ask Fishmonger, he'll come up with some really great suggestions and actually probably quite chuffed that you're interested. I'm going to smoke these mackerel fillets. Mackerel is, this is line caught mackerel and it's in season, so it's good sustainable fish. And I know smoking sounds like a bit of a faff on a campsite, but believe me, it's superbly easy and also gets you loads of street cred points when people are walking past and realising you're smoking your own fish for dinner. These have been filleted by a local fishmonger for me, but they still have bones running down the middle, which you need to get rid of. You could pick them out with tweezers, but basically life surely is too short. So I've got a method of cutting like an almost trench shape there with the knife and then you can pull it all out in one go. So I'm going to give that a go. So you want to cut through there, but obviously pushing down, but don't cut all the way through the skin because you'll end up with two very, very little fillets. Peel it off. Mackerel's an oily fish, which is great for strong flavours. So stuff it with rosemary or strong herbs like sage, uh, lemon. I like stuff like horseradish, which I'm going to do some horseradish new potatoes to go with this in a minute. Okay, before you smoke the fish, you need to salt it, and that's just to draw out excess moisture, and that kind of helps the smoky flavour go in better. So lay your fillets on a bed of salt like this, and then cover them with salt. Now I'm using big grain salt because I like it. You can use any kind of salt, but you need to wash it off in a little bit, and it's much easier to wash off. So I'll be washing that salt off in about 10 minutes time. Okay, so while that's doing, you can get on with thinking about preparing the smoker. Now there's two types of smoking, hot and cold. Cold tends to preserve food and flavour it while doesn't cook it. Whereas hot smoking, which is what I'm going to do with the mackerel, it's going to cook on my barbecue and smoke and flavour at the same time. Uh, you can get creative with your smoking kit. I know people who've used an old biscuit tin, put their wood dust on the bottom and use one of the grates from those instant barbecues on the top, put the lid on and put it on a gas burner and they've got a perfectly smoked fish. But being campers, we like nothing more than a bit of new kit. And this is a smoking box. They come in all shapes and sizes. This one's got a triangle shape. So the idea is it goes down in the heating elements of the barbecue. You can use a variety of different types of wood for smoking. They come on in all different flavors effectively. I liked using apple or beech. Whatever you do, you need to soak your chips first for about half an hour. And the reason for soaking it in water is to extend the life of the smoke. So as soon as you put it next to the heat, it doesn't combust. Now, the only real no-nos on wood to use is don't sort of chop up your garden fence or anything that might have creosote on it, or basically nothing with chemicals. And I'd say the only other thing is don't use pine because your food will probably end up tasting a bit like toilet cleaner. I mean, obviously that is a personal choice, but I'd not go for it. Close the lid and then put it on your barbecue. Just going to nestle it down over in one corner and put the barbecue on full. And leave that to get some smoke going. Fish is probably ready now. I need to wash that salt off. So I'm just going to do that. Just give it a good rinse. Right, so now I'm just going to dab those fillets dry, get as much moisture out. And I'm going to put a little bit of oil on this foil just so that they don't stick. You could put your fish directly onto the grill. 
Right, I'm beginning to smell that really lovely woody smoke smell. So I'm going to open it quickly, pop them in, turn the heat right down so they don't cook too quickly before they get all the smoke flavouring. Turn that down. And while that's happening, I'm going to make the horseradish potatoes. So I've actually boiled some new potatoes in the van. About three decent sized tablespoons of creme fraiche into a bowl. And then I've got some horseradish cream. Now I quite like, quite strong, but obviously do this to taste. So I'm going to put a big wadge of that in there. Give it a good, 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 good mix around. Now it's quite thick creme fraiche. I'm going to put some lemon juice as well, which will go well with that in there. Give that a good mix around. Yeah. Probably about the right consistency now. I've used really small baby news. Just cook those in a bit of boiled salted water. And then give that, I'm going to get my hands in there. Give it a really good mix around to coat those. So I'm just going to see how the mackerel's doing. I reckon it'll be, yeah, pretty much done. If you just push it with a knife, you can see it flakes easily. So I'm going to take that off there. And hopefully we can slide it off our foil. And then I'm going to serve that with some of those potatoes all my potatoes on the side there. So with some of my watercress, just serve that up and there you go. Tasty smoked fish on your campsite. Check your fillets for bones. Cut a V-shape and pull out the strip. Salt the fillets for about 10 minutes, then wash the salt off. Add your wood chips to your smoker and place in the barbecue to heat it up. Once there's plenty of smoke, add the fillets to the grill, but keep them far away from the smoke sauce. Mix half a tub of creme fraiche, a teaspoon of horseradish, and juice of half a lemon. Pour this over boiled potatoes and give it a good mix. Check your fish is cooked. If it flakes easily, take it off the barbecue. Serve with your potatoes and watercress salad.